Hello, Boo. You're laying like Simba. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 8.23. Stella is laying on top of my right leg and she has been smelling and licking my left leg. Eight forty one AM and there's Splash. Right up front and center, eating together with all of the cats peacefully. For some reason, when I feed them here in the kitchen, there are no power struggles for food. No one's bullying anyone else. The only problem is that Boo waits for me to put a few crunchies on the platter. By feeding them all on the same platter, it should definitely help them bond together as a family and as a group and as a unit. Nine AM Splash is hanging out in the hallway outside of Boo's room. Which leads me to believe maybe Stella is in Boo's room. But I do also see a little mouse toy in the door. Let's see, is Stella in Boo's room? Is she laying on that turbo scratcher? Hello, Splash. Oh no, there's nobody in Boo's room. He was just stalking the mouse toy. There's Stella. She's finishing her breakfast. Here's Simba. He's resting in a cat tower. And here's Boo. Boo's on the bed. Hello, Boo. He's been grooming himself. It is 3 p.m. right now. I had no idea where any of the cats were. And I just took a walk around the house to try to find them. And this is where I found Stella and Boo. Stella and Boo. Stella and Boo have been sleeping on the bed together. This is so major and so epic because they've been avoiding each other. Boo loves laying on the bed and Stella loves laying on the bed. But if Stella sees Boo on the bed, she gets mad and she like either goes on the cat tower or leaves the room. And sometimes if Boo's on the bed and Stella sees he's on the bed, he jumps off the bed and Vice versa, like if Boo wants to go on the bed, but he sees Stella's on the bed, he won't go on the bed. Right now he's gonna jump off because I'm talking. Oh, he's not gonna jump off. Hey, Boo. How are you, Boo? Did you sleep well? You like Stella? Maybe, Boo, did you even know Stella jumped on the bed? Maybe you didn't even know Stella jumped on the bed. Maybe Stella's starting to be nice to you, Boo. Maybe because you're being so charming to her. She likes you now. Yeah. You got your girlfriend back, boo. Are you a happy boy, boo? You got your girlfriend back. Got your girlfriend Stella back. Hello, Stella. You're being a nice girl. Are you a nice girl, Stella? So here's Stella. Here's Stella laying on the bed. 
And here's Boo. Just like a foot and a half away from her. Be a nice girl, Stella. Be a nice girl. Hello, Boo. You're laying like Simba. Are you comfortable, Boo? Here's Boo. And there's Stella. Stella. Boo. Simba just jumped on the bed with Stella and Boo. Three cats on the bed. Stella, Simba, and Boo. There's Stella and Boo. Boo's a very happy boy right now. Three cats on the bed. And one of them is Boo. Five thirty-seven p.m. The cat's are eating their food. I did not have to put any crunchies on the platter at all. And Boo is eating it. Splash was even eating it for a second, but when I put the camera on, he uh, jumped back. He's about six feet away right now. So I'm trying to get the cats fed uh, before the thunderstorm hits. There was a thunderstorm yesterday. We've been getting a lot of rain and thunderstorms lately. The thunderstorm last night like really freaked out the cats. They didn't like it. So um, they jumped on my bed or they were in my room. So I figured let me get them fed and give them enough time so that their meal will settle before the storm hits. It is 6.37 p.m. Stella's hanging out in the kitchen. I moved this blue basket over here before. Here's where she's hanging out. She just ate some dinner. Here's Boo laying in the cat tower. He looks so cute. Boo, are you comfortable? That's his favorite spot in the house. He loves that cat tower because he loves being seen in the window. He likes everybody that knew him in the woods and in the neighborhood to see him and say, oh yeah, look, look how lucky that cat is now. That cat's living the good life. He's in the window. He's back with his family, with his wife and his two kids. Right, Boo? It is 8.05 a.m. I was just outside and I guess Hydrox saw me so he came over to the patio and he's been sitting here looking at the back door so I think he wants some food so I am going to put some food out for him right now it is drizzling it's very slightly raining Hydrox is getting one of the uh, Sheba perfect portions I think this is like white fish and I also put some herbs in here for him. Hello. Hello. Want some food? Here you go. Here you go, Hydrox. If you eat all that, I could bring you some more, okay?
There is dry food in the feeder, so there is food for him to eat. Here's Hydrox. Hydrox ate all of his food. I'm gonna give him some more. Hydrox, want more food? Hydrox, would you like some more food? Okay, I'll give you some more. Yesterday, there was a big, beautiful heirloom tomato on this tomato plant. Today, the tomato's in the dirt. Something picked that tomato and something ate that tomato. And it wasn't Hydrox. Thank you for watching this Lucky Feral's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.